Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use conditional formatting to create data validation on some forms that you might be creating in Excel. So if you had a form that you wanted people to fill out and if they didn't fill out a specific field on there, you could have uh, a form of validation using some conditional formatting as well as highlighting a field. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing that we're actually going to do here is we're going to select the cell that we want to have uh, that is going to be used as part of the form. So if I type in here, enter name, for example, <clears throat> excuse me, and we just make that part of this form. And then just below that, we have a box for the entry of the name. I'm going to go to the view tab. I'm going to clear off these grid lines because I don't like grid lines. And I'm going to just use control B to bold that uh, cell B2, the enter name. So now that we have that, I'm going to now set up and create a border around the cell when the user has not entered anything into the cell in red, and then we'll make it green if they've actually entered a name. So to do that we're going to head over to the Home tab and I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting. I'm going to go to New Rule and we're going to go use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here I'm going to type in equals len which is the length formula and in characters I'm going to select this cell here and to be able to copy this amongst many different cells the actual formatting I'm gonna make it relative so that when I do copy this I can copy the entire uh, contents as well as the conditional formatting and then I'm gonna say equals in this case zero so if it's zero that means if there's zero characters found in that cell um, we're gonna format that cell as follows so if I go to format and I go to the color and I select red Actually, you know what? We're not going to do it on the font. I'm just going to go back over to the border as I discussed earlier. I'm going to select the line, or we can even use like a dotted line or something like that. So we'll use a dotted line. <clears throat> I'm going to go to color, and then I'm going to select red. So if we hit OK. And what I didn't do, let's go back into there. We'll go back to my rules. We're going to manage rules this time. Edit that rule. I want that to be red. I forgot to actually select the red and then do the border. So let's do that. I'm going to hit OK. Apply. Perfect. So now that that's there, what we can do is also enter another conditional formatting format by going back to conditional formatting, create new rule, head down to use a formula, and in this case we're going to say length of this cell. If we just use F4, it'll actually cir circulate through uh, absolute versus relative referencing on that cell reference. I'm going to close that bracket. I'm going to type in equals, or actually, we're going to type in greater than zero. And in this case, we want to have a green border, let's say. And I'll just have that as a solid border. So I'll select green. I'll select all four corners. Hit OK. All right, so right now it's red. So if I typed in my name, for example, you'll see that the border turns green. Now, Let's take this a step further and what I'll do is I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to use some symbols in this just to make it nice and clean and what I'll use is a checkbox and an X. So we'll insert that one and then we'll insert this guy here and I'll just close that up. And then what I can do is just select both of these. I'm going to copy that. Perfect. Copy both of those characters because I'm going to use this in an if formula to the right of the cell. So if we type in equals if, in this case, length again of cell B3 is equal to zero, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna have 
it equal the y value that we have here because that's what the x value is actually set up as. Perfect. And then now we're going to put in otherwise. And I'm just going to use this paragraph character. And then I'll close that quotation. And then we'll close that bracket. Oh, let's go back here. I don't want to put another bracket there. The bracket goes to the end here. Excellent. Okay, so now that we actually see that that odd character is in there, what we can do is go to the Home tab. Because we selected the symbol from the Wingdings font, I'm going to go over here. We're going to select Wingdings. If I just hit, oh, hit Escape there. If I go to W, it'll bring me all the way down. I just hit the W character there. We're going to select Wingdings. Perfect. So now you see that that's there. So if I don't have anything in this cell, what happens? You'll see that it turns to an X. So let's put something back in here. Now we're just going to simply format this. I still have that copy paste co or that pasted uh, the pasted values here. So what we can do is now add some conditional formatting to this field. So I'm going to go conditional formatting. We're going to go to a new rule again. And then what we will say is um, I'm actually going to go back here. We're going to go conditional formatting. We'll say highlight the cells that are equal to and I can say this value here. So that Y is actually the X. So if we hit OK, we want to have this font show up in red. So if I go to number, and I'm sorry, if we go to the font tab, and then I go to color in red, I'm going to hit OK now. And you know what we'll do as well is we might as well bold it. I'll go back to that custom format. So we'll go to red, and then I'm going to bold that font. Hit OK. Okay, so now I need to do and apply the same thing so that it's green, that this value and check mark is green once we um, enter a name. So I'm going to go back to conditional formatting. We're going to go to new rule again. And I'm going to head, I'm sorry, we're going to head to highlight cell rules. And then I'm going to go equal to in this case, it's going to be our paragraph character. Let me do that again. Highlight cell rules equal to paragraph character. So now we're going to go down to custom format. And in this case, it's our check marks. We're going to select the green and then we're going to go to the font style bold. Okay. So perfect. Now we have everything set up so that if the user doesn't put a value in, it actually going to show with a symbol to the right of it uh, with an X. And then if you actually have the value to enter a name, so if I put Brad in here, you'll see that it turns green with the border in green. And then you can play with the formatting and where it's actually located and stuff. Uh, now that we've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is head over to here. I can just copy both of these fields. And then we can just continue to copy these over and over again for our forms and just change the titles on here. So I just hit control C and then I hit control V. So I put, if I put this in here and then we just change, uh, let's just say job description, just like that. And then we can say, uh, let's take it out and we'll show that this format I, formatting actually still works. And then if we just typed in again, put something in this field like manager, you'll see that it turns green. So that's how you add data validation with uh, wingding symbols as well um, and conditional formatting. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your remarks in the comments below. Thanks for joining me.